What education do I need to become a pipeline welder? Do I need to know math? Today, I'm going to answer those questions, and I think you're going to like the answers. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ding the bell for notifications when I post a new video every Friday. I'm Austin Ross. I'm a rig welder that's chased pipelines all over the U.S. for the last seven years. My goal is to be your in-between guy on your way to be a successful rig welder. So let's get these questions answered. Technically, there are no diplomas, college degrees, or even weld certifications needed to get out on the pipeline. Basically, all you need is a driver's license and to be clean for your drug test. Above that, it's less about education and more about your willingness to learn quickly and work hard. Your superintendents, your weld bosses, your tie-in men, all these higher-ups, all they're looking for is people that, that have good work ethic, that'll show up every day, reliable, that'll work hard, that'll keep their ears open and willing to learn. They need the physical health. People that are gonna show up every day, people that are gonna work long hours, people that aren't afraid to get down and dirty and just get the job done. That's all they're looking for. They need help and they need a lot of it whenever there's a job going on. And if you want to do a job other than a laborer, you will need to have a skilled trade like a welder or an operator. But even those can be learned on the job throughout the years. Do you like the answer so far? Type yes in the comments below if so. So as a welder, what do you need to know how to do? You just need to know how to weld and pass a weld test before you ask or call about a test. I've had a lot of questions on people wondering what type of math you need to know to become a pipeline welder. Technically, you don't really need to know any kind of math. There's several different places you can be put out on the pipeline that you never would have to even know math at all. Basically, all you need to know is plus, minus, add, and subtract. Just your basic math skills. That's it. Anything else can be learned from guys on the job, welding bosses or older guys that have been around doing it for a long time. Just the people you're surrounded by will teach you a lot if you just ask. I've learned so much since I've been out here, and I believe in learning as you go. You're not going to know it all. That's like learning how to walk straight out of the womb. That's not how it works. You learn as you go. You take it in baby steps. That's exactly how it works out here. As long as you know how to weld and can pass a weld test, get on a job and start your learning process from there. Ask questions. Be willing to learn. If you are wanting to be a little bit ahead of the game on a certain type of math, I would suggest learning your times table. That will just help you be a little bit faster when, when figuring stuff out. Other than that, you can study your blue book a little bit. The main thing I've used this blue book for so far is for fitting dimensions. To find center of your fittings and like the measurements of your fittings when fabricating stuff. That's it. And then plus and minus. To, to add up takeoffs and stuff. Study your blue book, learn your times table, and you'll be ahead of the game already. Learn how to read a tape, things like that. Other than that, you don't need any education. All you need is a good work ethic, willingness to learn, willing to travel, be there six, seven days a week till the job's over with. So you know now that your common sense and a good work ethic is all you need. But what else do you need? More tips and tricks to do it all the right way. Which is why you should subscribe and hit the bell. And you need to know what to wear on the job. I'll link below my free download for both welders and helpers workwear, as well as some videos covering the same topics. Get suited up and go get that job that you want. If you like this video, make sure and give it a like and share it on social media. Leave me a comment below letting me know if you were surprised by this answer. I'm curious what you thought the answer was going to be. Remember, learn something every day, and I'll see you back here next week. Thanks for watching.